and today we are going to do something unusual for me anyways I am going to make a to-go palette and yes I have used the Android uh, tins as you can tell on the few but I have found that I like these a lot better than I do these I do not know where you can buy these at my husband bought me a case of 72 of them so I've got plenty of them to say the least I don't even know if they make these in here I have no clue it was a wholesaler that we is close by us um, I painted the top these two tops the I like that they have these because you can just I mean even if you're painting outside and need to hang on to them in the wind you could and still I mean you can still throw this in your pocket in a paintbrush and a small pad all in your pocket so I'm, um, I got my chart of the cars I have in here and then on top I just use um, the um, you get two of them in um, at Dollar Tree for a buck cutting mats that is in the kitchen section it's these and they like 11 by 14 so you've got you can make a lot but I use these for my um, I use these for about everything out here to say the least um, so with that being said we'll uh, go on and uh, do what we need to do um, and then this one is the gua this one is just gouache and I can throw both of these in my little travel bag. And I got a dog that is into a plastic bag. That ain't supposed to be. This is my little art travel bag that I use. And I can throw two of these in here with, and I got pencils, cause I, with a little book just like so so that's why I like these and like I said I'm in the middle of a project with these travel and just zip it up and I'm ready to go and this is all I have to take I got water brushes in here and if I wanted to I can take my regular brushes I can throw in my little travel round brushes these in here and grab my practicable cup that goes and it might fit I don't know but I usually carry a punch with me or a backpack wherever I go so that's no big deal but with that being said and this one this is the second time I feel film this because for some odd reason, my sound is not working. And this one has this thingy off. I don't know why, but I got this one brand new out of the box. And you can tell it's not been used a whole lot. Because I, I wanted to see if I liked these before I made a video on them. And I do. And this one's got 12 corners, 12 half pants does fit in these. And I've got Zap Green. I have no clue what color that one is. Um, I got two Zap Greens. I might have three Zap Greens in here. Who knows? But this one, since it did have the um, this deal on it, I put Velcro on the back of it, and then I'm gonna get a piece of just regular Velcro, cheap Velcro at Walmart. This is industry. This is what all I had at the time. But it's the sticky back. And well, I can make it, it into a, a watch. And then just open it up on my arm. And use it. I mean, just like so. Just like. Let's see. Oh, I guess that would help if y'all could see, huh? 
Let's see. How about this one? I just got some water. Use a I'm just using the, um, I don't know, it's an off brand. If you out on location, you know, this would not, this would probably work pretty good. Just saying. You might want to make a better, you know, mixing palette or if you also um here's another idea if you got a board that you use to say okay we're gonna use this and this is do not look at this painting because this painting is horrible like if you wanted to you could even um if you got you know, if you're using this as a, on like an easel or on your lap, and all this board is, this is just a canvas board that is 16 by 20 that I use to paint on. Not necessarily on location, just in the craft room. But those times, I will just. I mean, I do take it with me if I need to, but like stick a piece of Velcro up here, stick that to it, and then you can, you know, hold it like so. Let's see. And paint. Now, I don't paint on the, usually when I paint, I paint in my truck, I know, because I'm not going to hack, but, I mean, this is, or even if you're using this at home on, in your studio, you know, um, you know, palettes is so expensive, I mean, to buy a palette, to put stuff in is expensive. So, and if you find these as cheap as my husband found them, oh, you could do something like, you know, buy, just buy the half pans and uh, fill a bunch, fill them with different paints. This is, um, I think this is uh, Reeves. I won't say these is re well, no. This is just a mod podge of different ones. Uh, I do have one that is Reeves. But I don't know what's that off the top of my head. So, so now I'm going to show you how to do This one has the hook on it. And you can, st even if you got one or two, I mean, let's see. If you wanted to make the uh, bracelet, you could still do that with the hook. And I mean, I'm just showing ideas here. And I don't have no um, Velcro that don't have a sticky back that I know of. And I probably do, I just can't think of and if it is, it's packed away, and I ain't digging. But, and then you can still do that, or you can hold it with your thumb, like so. And, uh, yeah, I wonder how many of these, it's going to be paint palettes, a bunch. So... I don't know if the candy's even good or not because I ain't tried it. I'll be honest with you, I, that is not my top. If I'm going to make myself sick, it is, that is not the candy I'm going to make myself sick on. So, let's, and all of these is, 
off. Let's get that off. Okay. Uh, I don't know if there are anything you can put. For some tape, double sided tape. Uh, that don't belong in that. That don't belong in that. What is the trash in my bag? Who knows? Okay. Well, I didn't find the tape I wanted, but this will work, maybe. But I'm just going to stick these down. Because the magnets sometimes work, sometimes they don't. I'm just going to stick these down. I mean, only thing about sticking them down with tape. I don't want to stick these on magnets. Even with the foam tape, you can still stick these pretty good. And still have room to wiggle. see Anna. Uh, oh, that's the green dot. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I've used these for a while, and that's why I don't have no. I mean. If I, I mean, one of them I have taped. The one that is uh, red, I have taped to the tin. No big deal. I mean, I plan. I mean, if I decide to move them, I can. May not be the easiest thing I ever done, but you know, life goes on. <laughs> I've got some this thin, thin double-sided tape, but can't find it. Ain't that about like, like it goes? Okay, this is uh, one of my pre-mixed grays that I'm going to stick in here. And I'm going to stick him right there on the side. Now I'm going to find some color or watercolor paper. And I'm going to draw. Oh, you got to be kidding me. That was not smart, was it, y'all? Like y'all can do this? Yeah, right. This I'm just going in and I'm just going to try to fill in. Okay. And take my scissors. If I had, if I was smart, I would do this on the scanning cut. Sometimes it's just easier to do it by hand. Okay. Now let me find what that I have used. Oh, a piece of one. I know I've got one. using 
for a while. Oh, you can tell I've been cutting them. So. Okay, what I did was just trace the, my watercolor paper onto this. Or trace the rim on watercolor paper, should I say. Okay, zip green. Want sienna. Ultramarina blue. Gray. Uh, green. Red and gum. Now I'm going to take this little paintbrush and I'm going to swatch all of this. And the good thing of it is once they empty, you can refill them. And if it's the colors you don't like, you can always change out if you wanted to. I'm going to use a sponge kind of. And that's already, I mean, I love build, building my own palettes because I can put the colors I like in it. And like if I want the pre-mixed uh, ones, I can. And there you have it. Have your new palette to go. And I will add more colors to it. Uh, I just got to get more pans. I'm out of pans. Oh, be out of pans. But it's fine. I mean, I ha I've got, you know, i got five, three, four of these suckers running around here now. And they also great if you do uh, color pencils on the, on the go. They weren't great. Well, that also, I've got another one in here. For, well, that has my, well, did have pinter shavings in it. But that, that also works good for that also. And then these mats, I just cut little squares up and make my um, a mat, a watercolor mat, acrylic mats. I've gotten them for about everything. Trust me, I know. It's a, it's horrible. Tell me something I don't know. But anyways, I'm gonna stick this one in here. And zip it up and put it in, well, that ain't nothing, but it goes in. 
Let's stick it in this one. Do y'all have a bunch of bags like this? See, I've got three or four of these pallets. But they are thin, lightweight, great curry on the go. I got water brushes in here. And, uh, zip that sucker up. Zip this one up. Stick it back in my backpack. Stick this one in my backpack. And this one will probably go somewhere in the next few days. I hope you enjoyed these videos. Uh, give us a thumbs up if you did. Uh, if you try this idea with these tins, let me know. Will you found them? Because like I said, I don't know where they at. I've never seen them until my husband brought me home a big old case of them. My husband's good at this stuff, y'all. So y'all have a blessed day. We'll catch you later. Bye.